okay so our geometry is ready now and we are ready to assign the frequency of operation which is 600 megahertz take the single point single frequency because it, it reduces your simulation time simulating time okay so and i i am taking 600 megahertz single frequency okay so this is 6 kilohertz only it is showing 6 kilohertz which is oh i forget 600 e6 it is okay now 600 megahertz frequency is now defined now uh, you have to define the excitation to each okay before this you need to provide the port so go to the edge wire right click create port wire port okay so at the last line there is a port which is port one this is port one here and for line second line do the same process middle create close so this is second port this is then third port then create this is okay so this is the third port and this will be my fourth port okay so this is the fourth port and close okay, so this is port one this is port two port three port four it is starting from starting from the bottom then moving towards the upper side port one port two port three port four like this now time to excite this port so port 1 which is the last port having amplitude is 1 volt all the port having same amplitude I am taking 1 volt and the phase for the broad side the beta is 0 means the phase difference between each element is 0 so I am simulating this uh, array for broad side so take beta is 0 means the phase difference between each element is 0 so I am taking phase as 0 create close then again go to excitation port 2 amplitude is same because amplitude is linear and the phase difference is 0 for broad side and create close excitation port 2 is done port 3 is also having same value 1 volt and 0 phase create close excitation port 4 1 0 create close Okay, so <coughs> excitation is also done now if this time is to request for far field 3d create close and then zoom to extent this is the far field reason and now I am ready to pico it okay so I forget to give mesh here so this is the mesh suggestion 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 and 0 0.01 sorry 0 create close run pico then save this is the the other side Array broad side array. Okay, the simulation is done now, and and we are ready to post FICO. Okay, so for post people, first of all, I want to see. I want to see the three D pattern. So this is the three D pattern, and to zoom to action. Okay, so as you see, if I click to game and go to selections, stop that. Okay, now you can see that this is the axis. And from the axis, your maxima is at 90 degree along x direction. My axis is along z direction and I am getting maxima at 
z direction sorry maxima at x direction at 90 degree of z direction so this is the broadside array and this is the characteristic pattern for broadside array so you can you can see it easily like this okay so this is my array and i'm getting a pattern <coughs> a pattern like this at 90 degree of axis angle and the maximum value is gain is 4.14 which is higher than my single element dipole having gain of 1.6 and here the gain is 4.14 it is four times around and directivity is also same because there is no loss and the e impedance is around 100 and 10 ohm 110 ohm the magnitude part is 110 and the real part is around also 110 ohm now you can decrease this impedance to 50 ohm if you take lambda equal to, uh, l is equal to something less than lambda by 2 i am taking exact lambda by 2 if you take less than lambda by 2 means something around uh, um, 24 or 24.2 centimeter the total length 24.2 centimeter then you will get impedance at 50 ohm okay then the vswr is something around 2.23 okay if you decrease that uh, lambda value uh, if lambda by 2 then you will get i will show you i will show you the if you take lambda by 2 you, you will get 2.23 as vswr and s11 in db in db it is something minus 8 db okay so it is not uh, correct it uh, not correct it is correct but it is uh, and not suitable for practical application so i have to change these values for changing this i need to improve my array so go to the line one and minus this value by 0.1 centimeter and this minus also this value by minus 0.1 0.1 okay and just copy this apply okay and then line apply this condition to all the elements and i will ensure you that your directivity and your uh, impedance will improve and your vswr is also improve with this okay now delete all the mesh create new mesh create uh, and then close run seco yes okay run post fico then 3d pattern gain top left now it is 4.14 gain is 4.14 and the impedance okay it is at 110 okay vswr is also 2 uh, more than 2 okay 